and over here on that side and on this side, there are rows of seats for everybody who comes. And um, now we're coming into the front altar right here. And um, this is for the bishop. And when he would be here uh, pr preaching, you can see over here there are also uh, golden crosses above the um, other seats for religious figures. And um, now we're coming over to the side altars. Then up here and across, you can also see some stained glass. Um, now you can see uh, just more rows of seats because um, so many people came to the church. Everybody came here to listen to the bishop preach. And um, to the sides there are chests uh, filled with relics. Now you can see um, the entrance right here. And then uh, we're going to go above. And now you can see that the church is in fact uh, shaped in a cross. And that would be how God would see it. Uh, Okay, so we're walking into the wine press. So it's lever operated and you just throw your grapes in here and it squashes them. Now we're moving on to the meat shop or butcher shop and they, they sell meat such as chicken, pork, and beef. Um, and now we're moving on to the market stalls. Uh, these are currently empty because there are no traders in the town right now. And um, now we're moving on to the apothecary. Um, here you can see, over here, you can see um, a bed for the barber to work on and amputate things on. And now we're moving into the apothecary where you can see beds everywhere for sick people. And now we're moving on um, to the side. Here we have potion brewing station. And now you can see also the farm for herbs for the apothecary. Oh, um, so we're going on to the gallows. Here you can hang yourself. And there's a very dark ending for you. And now, as you can see, we're moving on to the stocks, uh, right over here, where you can publicly humiliate people by throwing eggs and snowballs at them, and yeah. Now we're moving on to the archery range. As you can see, the different colored lines represent different distances. Archers would come to the archery range to train and for competitions for entertainment for the village people. We are now moving towards the jousting arena. And as you can see, each team has a different color. This side is blue and the other side is red. You can now see that this is the jousting track. And um, you can ride minecarts towards each other, and you can hit each other with swords so that you can damage each other and kill each other. <laughs> this is an aerial view of the town square. Now we're flying into the bakery. You can see that the baker sells different types of breads, and he has ovens to cook them. He sells bread, biscuits, and smothered bread. As you can see, we're now moving on to the stables where the rich people store their horses. And as you can see, up top there's also some hay for the horses.
this is the fighting arena. Um, that is where the king sits. <laughs> and people came here to entertain themselves, much like a modern day stadium today, I guess. Um, now we're entering the peasant village. Um, right now you can see one of the houses for an upper class peasant or a richer peasant. And now we move on into um, the house of a lower class peasant or a poorer peasant. Um, now we're just going to walk through the village. And um, as you can see there's a lot of houses because obviously there were a lot of peasants for <laughs> the castle. Um, so that there could be enough wheat. And now we're <laughs> moving on to the mill where the peasants could grind um, wheat to make flour so that they could make their bread. This is the blacksmith shop. And those are retractable <laughs> fences which make it easier for the blacksmith to access the heat source. And on the second floor is the living quarters for the blacksmith and his wife. And now we come to the merchant shop. And this is where the merchant sells all kinds of goods. And in the back of the shop, he keeps everything that he sells. Right now, we're walking up the path into my castle. You can see that it's up on a hill so that when enemies come and attack it's harder to get up and it's not direct also the defenders of the castle can attack them while they climb up the trees help make it harder to climb up even and make it separate now we're getting to our drawbridge and gate for protection they had drawbridges and gates so enemies couldn't just charge right in and attack. So while they may break through the first gate and after they get across the uh, moat, they still have a second gate and while they're trying to break through that, the people on the walls can shoot arrows at them and dump boiling water on them. Now we're walking into the main palace. In the center of the palace, you have the keep, which is the tall tower, which is used as a lookout. When we go downstairs, you can see the, uh, we're going into the dining room for the king, where the king ate. Now we're going over to the pre peasants' protection quarters, where peasants would stay during a siege. Now you walk much deeper down underground to reach the dungeons, like a prison. It was very dark and scary there. So now we're walking upstairs to the king's throne room. Two um, not quite as important people sit next to him in the thrones to his sides, such as the queen and prince or princess.
And now if we go up even farther, we have in the keep the kitchen where all the king's meals are prepared. As you can see, it's a very important place since the king wanted very nice and expensive meals. Okay, now we're walking up from the kitchen to king, the king's room where he has a bed and um, chests for personal items. Now if you go up a couple of flights of stairs, you can get to the top of the keep, which they used as a lookout tower, so they can see or spot enemies approaching from a good distance away, and that's King Sean's castle. So now we move on to Lord Coda's castle, and here's the entrance. And we are lucky to have Lord Coda with us today. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, if we move on to the back of the of floor one, I'll let um, Lord Coda take it away. This is a fountain that represents wealthiness. And now we move on to the second floor. This is this is the dining room where uh, I ate meals with other nobles or other wealthy people. And this is the kitchen, and it's where my chef cooks. Now we move up to the third floor, and this is the throne room, and if we go outside, here's my balcony. And... And on the fourth floor, it's the servants' quarters. It's where all my servants sleep and rest. And and at the top of the castle is my bedroom, and it's where I live and sleep. And at the top is the uh, big balcony. Now we're moving on to Coda's vassal, Sir Alex's castle. Um, once you walk in, you can see there are um, livestock pens where livestock would live. And over here you can see there's also a marketplace. And now we're going to move on to his guardhouse where guards would temporarily live while they're guarding his castle. And um, now we're moving on to his main room where there, once you walk in, there's a dining room for Sir Alex. And over here um, to the side, you can see... Um, a storage room for him, and um, if we go up one more level, you can see his bedroom where uh, he would sleep, and there's also some chests for personal items, and that is Sir Alex's castle.
Um, now we're moving on to Lord Kevin's castle. Um, as you can see, when you walk in, there are two sets of security doors, one of which is a piston door, and the other of which is a set of iron doors. Um, now if we move on to the right side, you can see that there is, um, uh, there is his, uh, his squire's room, where, um, his squire would live, and, um, as you can see, there is a fountain, and when we come across the hallway, you come to his room, where there is a larger bed, and there are, there is also another fountain, and there are, um, a set of bookcases. Um, now if we move on into the center, you can see, um, just a center sitting room, where, uh, you can see a painting, and, um, if we... move on up from Lord Kevin's room you can see his um, here is the watchtower which you can access only from the ceiling and um, here uh, archers can shoot out towards enemies attacking or anything that's a threat And now we move on to Sir Jason's castle. When you walk in, the first thing you see is Sir Jason's fountain. And um, now we move on from Sir Jason's fountain. You come over to his throne room. Um, here is just a small path leading up to his throne where uh, people could talk to him. And across the hall from his throne room is his dining room. Um, if we move up this ladder uh, from his dining room, you come to the top of his castle and um, uh, to the archery station, um, archery station number one. And uh, at archery station number one, archers could shoot out um, towards enemies attacking or anything like that. And as you can see, there are multiple archery stations, um, two, three, and four over there. And um, if we move into the center archery station, or the watchtower in the center, you can see uh, uh, this is where guards would shoot or look out for enemies coming towards the castle. And that is Sir Jason's castle. Once again, we'd like to thank everybody who has helped us with working on the server, uh, building the extra castles. Um, we would also like to thank everybody watching this video, and we hope you enjoyed. Thanks, bye.